all right all right all right welcome back welcome back welcome back to episode 10 10 we are episode 10 guys forgive me forgive me forgive me forgive me i have the episodes misnumbered horribly 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 um i did a lot of bulk recording and i ended up almost messing up on an episode but i was able to fix it so from episode 6 through episode 8 well actually the episode ep- yeah episodes episode 7 through episode 9 i'm telling i'm saying there's 6 where 7 i'm saying it's 6 where it's 8 i'm saying it's seven i mean yeah you you get the gist of it i did i did a lot of book recording and like i said i thought i had messed up an episode i was able to recover it get it back and because i fixed it now the uh, the intros are a little messed up so forgive me in the beginning of the videos for that and i'll put something in the comment description about that to address that further but uh Going to the normal things, my name is Johan, and I want to welcome you to Shinryu Johan Gaming, where we're going to get that true gaming going. Now, guys, guys, a few things I want to go over here first. I got a lot of things in the oven cooking and brewing. I don't really want to say too much, but uh, you guys are going to love it. You're going to love it. You're really going to love it. Uh, going a little bit further than that, uh, just a few things here. Uh, some episodes may not show up on Shinryu Johan Gaming. And I know you guys are probably going to look like, yo, Johan, I already see that episode 6 or 7 isn't here. Where's it at? If you look in the comment section or actually in the description of the video, you're going to see a link to Twisted Misty, which is the sister channel here to my um, to my significant other channel. And that is where some of the episodes will be posted. Some of them will be posted there because I started the series on that channel. And as I branched off to give you guys different, more oriented content, I figured I'm going to bring this over here. Um, that will be something I'll continue to do. That will be something I'm going to continuously do with this series. It probably will not stick around in the future as it is confusing for people. And they have brought it up to me. So it is something that probably won't stick around. But nonetheless, unless I'm doing something with her, a project, you're probably not going to get that content over there. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. I'm almost out of my announcement time. So the next announcement I'm going to give you, I tell you guys about the t-shirts. Get you a Misty Drappy on shirt. The link will be in the comment section or the description of the video. And I got a lot of things coming up for you guys. A lot of special things. Nonetheless, I know you guys are probably wondering, Johan, last time I looked here, you didn't have this thing behind you. Well, let's go into the uh, actual lineup. We got Minma the Butterfree with us, who's just here temporarily. Um, I got Sparks the Pikachu, Lean the Axew, Rax, my Delta Charmeleon, Blade, excuse me, my Curlia, and Shark. The Totodile. Now, as you guys are looking, my levels are all jumped, scrambled around. Um, I was doing some thinking when I was leveling up off screen because that's what I figured I needed to do to be prepared. As we are in the next town, there's a gym leader here, guys. I have I haven't explored the town. I haven't gone into any of the houses. The only thing I did was I got here, um, and I did that off camera because I the last episode got so sidetracked with seeing what was in the area out ahead of me and I just don't want to bore you guys with that so forgive me I'm in the next town I didn't remember I'm in the remember name we're gonna go outside this Pokemon it's gonna be a brand new experience for you for me we're gonna know the town we're gonna explore the town together and we might start the gym leader bench um, I know you guys are wondering where's boo boo well it's like, as you can see I have taken boo boo out of the team yet again I was looking at EV stats, and I know I'm not playing competitively because it is just a ROM, but the way the computer is fighting, I want to have a little bit of an edge, and this Caterpie actually had really, really good IVs. So, I decided to take it with me. Um, let's see what this guy has a Pokemon for us. Uh, it's actually the uh, Mystery Gift Pokemon, which is Delta Munchlax. I have not grabbed it yet, um, and I will do that at the end of the episode. We're not going to worry about it right now. So let's go out here into Michi Town. And let's see what Michi Town has to offer to us. I mean, people talking about birds chirping and whatnot. Oh, what do you have for me, homie? Nor for Mida Town, so you guys experience grew up too hard. This guy's got a Fulzo or is that a Buizo? It's a Buizo in his house. I don't know how deep that goes. 
Well, anyways, guys, um, while we're exploring the town, I'm not going to go in and read all the banter that these people have to say because 90% of it is useless. <laughs> um, if it is something, I'll read it. But nonetheless, guys, I want to thank you guys for actually coming out, showing support. Um, not only just on my channel, but on Misty's channel. I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, you're you're putting videos out, you know, people are watching it. That's all you want. No, it's the fact that I enjoy going ahead and doing this. This is something that I like to do. I've been playing Pokemon for God knows how long and recording it and having you guys actually come out and watch it video after video, day after day means the world to me. Not even just with Pokemon, but with my Naruto content or Dragon Ball content. It is amazing to do it. And have it. I have people who send me artwork, which I'll be posting up pretty soon, of my Dragon Ball character from the anime I'm in for it. And people love it. Like, it up uh, event. Before I finish my sentence, it's just, I really appreciate it. So let's get into this. Look who it is. Hey, Johan. How are you doing? It's me, Nora. I see you finally ended up making me you pound. I love this place. I used to live here. Oh, no, duh. I just wanted to meet up and talk about something. But first, how about we battle? There aren't like any cults around to find out, so why don't I show you exactly why my Celebi is so dangerous? Yo, yo. if I'd have known this would have been a battle, I would have. I'd have been a little bit more prepared. Like her Pokemon are level 28. I'm not even that high yet. What is wrong with her? Well, um, try to put this thing to sleep, I guess. Resistance? Yes. Cool. Um Silverwind. I did nothing. So we're gonna get her out of there. I don't even know what I have to hurt you. We're just gonna have to use lean. I hope it stays asleep long enough for me to get lean out. Cool. And we will go into D Rage. Oh yeah, we got it. We got it. We oh, it woke up. It woke up. It woke up, and we ate that. Lean, yo guys. If I was ever doubting Lean, please smack me because he is doing me a justice. Staying alive right now. Let's see how powerful Gust is on here. It's forty. Um, we just we just we gotta have a flying coverage. I needed it for the gym, regardless. Quilava. I think it's only right. Quilava. Totodile. It's only right. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering, why have I not evolved into Crocodile yet? I don't know what kind of moves are on this game, so I'm trying to hold out, but more probably importantly, I'm probably going to let him evolve here the next time he tries to, as long as it's on camera and I'm not training, because I figure we can use that evolution power to make up what we lack for in gap. I know that Totodiles normally learn Aqua Jet, so if I can get it to learn Aqua Jet, it will be so helpful, to be honest. I mean, really, right now, we are getting by with the grace of our team. Oh, we have a fairy we can use. So at least we won't have to worry about super effectiveness. This thing is going to be like annoying to fight. I already know. I did nothing. So we'll try our grass attack. Alright, so we are at a point where we're just kind of like at a standstill here. As much as I want to use lean, we're going to be at a severe disadvantage. Severe. And I don't have a poison move to really hurt this thing. So we're just going to have to heal up Minma and hope Minma can actually do something here. Uh, we'll try Magical Leaf again. Oh, he did it on us. 
wish heal that that just made that null and void. I wish this had like an added bonus effect or something. We're just we're just going back and forth at this point. We're not doing anything to it. <sighs> Jeez Louise. You have spark, you don't even have it anymore. Oh my Lanta. It's just we're out of we, we don't have anything to really fight against fairies. And that's the sad part. It's like being stuck. So we kinda just gotta try for whatever we can and really just hope for the best. I'm hoping I get the boost. That would be so helpful right now. Luckily this isn't gonna be very effective, so it's a, it's a matter of a standstill even though we're under level from this thing. We at least stand a chance at doing something to it. Come on, boost. Come on. Nothing. And it woke up. And it used grassy terrain again. And I think that was all of the PP I had for that move. Yes, it was. So we'll try for stab, I guess. Best thing we can do. Yeah, we're not doing anything to this thing. Alright, so we put it to sleep again. We <laughs> have to change Pokemon again. Uh, we already know Lean can't do anything to it. Rax might be able to. What moves do you have now? I'm just confused, right? Shadow Sneak. Maybe we could try our Ghost Move, see how it does. I mean, he, it's technically our strongest Pokemon at the moment. Which she is. I didn't want that. Fuse Ray. Come on. Grassy Terrain. Shadow Sneak. I mean, it did a nice chunk of damage. But it's the most damage we any of my Pokemon have done to this thing. God, it snapped out of that quick. Oh my goodness. You're already gonna get life from Wish right now. And it just completely healed itself back up with this trifold combo. Oh my god! I don't even care anymore. I just want you dead and gone. Wish. And we're gonna do this again. We're just gonna have to be hyper offensive here before another wish comes off. I mean, it's healing us and him. And this has to be one of the most annoying battles I've been in in my life. And we're gonna kill it before this wish happens. We are going to kill it before this wish happens. Like, with the damage we've taken, we have almost healed back up fully from the grassy terrain. And we have Celebi coming out. We're actually going to stay in. And 
And we're just we're just gonna go for whatever we can, ancient power. Why did that hurt? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the thing we wanted to have happen happened to him. So we're just gonna have to try to hurt it as much as possible. We'll see if we can do, if we can get faster before, oh my god, that, that, that was horrific, that was horrific. And we have no revive, so it's not like we can get it back up. D-Rage. Oh my goodness, we are, don't tell me we're about to lose the Celebi. Please don't tell me we're about to lose the Celebi. Yes. Hurt yourself with your newfound power. Oh, it's unaffected. Oh. Anything we can do. Oh, that's good. That's dead. That's dead. Um. Yeah, we're pretty much SOL at this moment. No, we're not going to be fast, so we're just going to just attack. That's going to be super effective. And another one. Everything's going to go up to two. It's literally made itself like a wall. And there's nothing I have to hurt it. Even super effective tags are doing nothing. And that is all she wrote, folks. <laughs> Again, your boy Johan has taken another L. I have never taken an L like this in any game I have ever done. She trounced us. Like, no biggie trounced. And there's not much I can do about that, like, at all. So we got Butterfree. We're a little bit stronger now. We know what, we know what we're about to go up against, pretty much. So I guess we can try to prepare as much as we can. One can prepare for this. I mean... We don't have much that can stand up to what is about to go down. I mean, we could bring... We could bring Boo Boo, but I doubt Boo Boo will be much help. I mean, Boo Boo's fast, especially with that speed thing. Yeah, I guess we're pretty much. We're gonna have to just rethink our party. We're gonna have to bring Boo Boo again. Which means we're gonna take out Blade, because until we get something to make that thing evolve, Blade's just not helpful. Now, we could take our Delta McGirt. Well, we get our Dirt McGirt. We got Delta Grammar, Dirt McGirt, whatever you want to call it. The thing is, he has, like, not that great moves. <laughs> um, he's going to help out against it, though, because of Sap Sipper, which may come in handy against Celebi, but as you saw with Celebi, it... I don't know. We'll take it, and we'll, we'll lead off with... We'll put... You, even though you helped out, but there was nothing that one Pokemon could do against you. Yeah. And we'll just take Lean out. As much as I want that Dragon Power, it's not giving me enough Dragon Power to make a huge difference yet. So this is what we're going to do for this battle. Uh, we're going to have to play it smart. We got to play it smart. There's not really much else we can do. Where you at, Jake? Let's do this rematch. 
Bring that ass. You want to use your Celebi. I get it. So let's see what happens. Alright, so we have this thing out. And we are going to go for the sleep powder. Oh, we already know this can't do much to him. I believe we can kill it with Dirt McGurt, so let's try it. what I'm talking about dirt do it again uh dirt McGirt coming through uh, we're not gonna learn supersonic all right that flow is coming back out and rather than even playing with it we're just gonna go right into dirt McGirt you're gonna wish it's cool. We're gonna bulldoze you. We're gonna lower that speed. A S A mother freaking P. I am actually I'm not a, a Grimer fan, but Dirt McGirt, yo, like he is or she is really truly impressive. Excuse me. So let's see here. We are going to continue. We're going to keep it going. All right. So that's not very effective. So we know Dirt McGirt right now is kind of like, yeah. So this is where we're going to pull Dirt McGirt back. And at this point, we're going to go back into Rax because Rax is my only Pokemon with a fire move or the potential to learn a fire move at this point. And that's going to be four times effective against this thing. That's cool. You let us heal up a little bit more. Oh, let's build this speed up. Razor Leaf with no accuracy. It's not dead? Did it make it one HP? Oh my. The good thing about Delta Charmeleon is he's part dragon, so he's resistant to almost everything. Grass, fire, electric. It just it gives him such a big coverage range. And with us being faster than Celebi at this point, we're gonna go for it a hundred percent. Like Charlie's Angel full throttle, and we did nothing for that thing. Luckily for us, we're not trying to do anything other than just hurt it as much as we can. Like, even super effective, this thing is like, godly strong. So yeah, there's about five more ancient powers left. But we got Dirt McGirt, and we're going to go for it. We're going to try to lower this dude as much as we can. Now that we got its speed down, we're going to go ahead, heal up a little bit, so we can keep ourselves in this game. Because that's the most important thing right now, staying in the game. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to minimize. If that's what we're doing. We'll minimize again. Cause we can eat it. We can eat a few more hits. Alright, so this is we're maxed out on that. Let's try to attack that accuracy. So yeah, he, ha he has next to nothing left. I'm I'm pretty sure. He's out of H and power, or the computer's just trying to 
Oh, there it is right there. At this point, it really doesn't have much left to use against us. Oh, we have plenty of we have plenty of bulldoz left. We got this. It can't use any grass moves because we're just gonna power up off it. So it's literally stuck with what it can do, which is next to nothing at this point. And we got Queen Lava. Why? Why would we tag out? Why? Why? There's no point. Dermagurt's evasive. Nothing can really hit us at this point. We it's just a dumb move. And it's gonna almost kill anything it throws at us. I mean anything it throws is gonna just up oh, here. We'll hit your special defense. That was dope. That was a legit dope fight. I give it that. I don't know for sure. Anyways, I need to go talk to Damien. He seemed trustworthy, so I told him about Celebi and Mew, but I don't think I could fully, ex I can, I fully explain to him how important it is for him to shut up and not talk about it. Would you mind doing that for me? Last night he was in Vipic City and to challenge Xavier. I do it myself, but I have things in my mind. I'll see you around, Johan. So, we got that done, and I don't know about you guys, but I am going to take Boo Boo back out because we don't need Boo Boo. But we're going to keep Dirt McGirt. I am content with keeping Dirt McGirt as a part of our team. For right now. For right now. And we'll switch everything else up a little bit later. I don't believe we just actually spent almost the entire episode battling, battling her. Like, I mean, like I'm looking at the timer right now for a recording and it's literally almost been a half hour. And we did nothing really, uh, we didn't really get to explore the other half of the city, because we kind of have that brick in our way. But as I said, I will go ahead and get, excuse me, Delta Munchlax on camera, and you guys will be able to see that. So I'm going to do that. We got Pudding. So let's go ahead and see what Pudding is like. Level 5, Pudding, um, Pokemon Center, Faithful Encounter, likes to thrash, protects the damage from weather. Okay, so no weather damage. And look at those IVs, guys. Wow. Wow. Too bad it's a special attacker, and it's special attacks that is going to be one of its worst ones. Um, the nature I'm not really too fond about, but like I said again, we're not playing competitively. Right now, we are just playing to play so we're gonna put lean back in for right now we're gonna move some people around here and we're gonna leave this Pokemon Center so we got that done we're going to go on to the other side of town and let's see what we got waiting for us over there so we know what we got going on next episode. We got a few minutes. We'll, we'll, look, we'll look in a couple houses. Now, while we're looking, guys, the daycare. Oh, my goodness. A secret set of rangers. There's power rangers in this game. And he ran here all the way from the Kanto region. Whoa, we got a clown here. That's the Pika Cab guy. So we got a focus band. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Demon City retirement in town, number one. Anyway, sure in the place of her gym, we built a secret base. It's where I want you to try building one. So there's no gym here. But there is a secret base thing, I guess. This is not bad.
This guy's sitting with a flock of Spiro. Can we catch it? I guess not. It's a bummer. It'd be nice to have a flying type other than Butterfree. But I guess that means we can't rely on that. Trophy splash easier and higher. People to work for you there. You can use your front secret base if you want. You can lay traps on your base. Perimeter. You want to play a capture flag with your friends? Visit the friend safaris. I have a secret base. Uh, we don't have that much. So I guess that's where the secret bases are. So I guess what we'll do here in next episode is we'll look in the bottom half of the town. See what we can find out, guys. Um, One thing I want to tell you guys. Oh, we got a Miracle Seed. Dope. If you liking what we're doing and you loving how we're doing it, guys, please, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Tell your buddies about us. Tell your friends about me. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. All right? Peace.